Hey everybody, welcome back to my Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel. A couple of weeks ago I posted a little video on how I shoot some of my close-up food photography with a neat little product called the Platypod. And this is a little accessory kit that you would probably want to look into if you buy that product. So I'll just tilt this up so you can see it. There's a bunch of neat little things in here. I'll just flip it around so you can see the, the back here. So let's get into this. Oh, I, don't, I thought I'd have to use a knife, and I don't. I'm just going to get right into this. Look at this. So we'll bring that out. We've got this. we got that. Little here. And this as well. Turn that over. Look at that. Some nice little accessories here. So I'm just going to zoom in so we can go through the products. So the first item in the little accessory kit is a two millimeter non-slip silicone pad. This is four inches by six inches wide. I'll just flip that over. And that there is for use on, what do they say here? Wood or metal surfaces. Wash with hand soap to restore the grip when needed. So whenever you want to use your little platypod in an area that you want to make sure that you don't get scratches, you want to use that. Our next item in the accessory kit, which is really nice, and I'm going to be using this quite a bit, is the three inch anodized aluminum spigot adapter. On one end, you have a three eighths hole, and on this end, you have a quarter inch hole, and they call it, a, it's a female to female adapter. So this will screw onto your platypod, and then you can add little accessories to the little spigot. Platypod suggests that you can use things like flashes, hot shoes, lighting equipment such as mono lights and umbrella adapters and it can hold a weight up to 50 pounds so it's very very rigid very well built the next item that we have is a very heavy duty strap this here is 36 inches long and it's one and a half inches wide so this is very heavy duty this here can hold up to 100 pounds ideal for mounting max or ultra to poles trees and other objects I'll just open this up. I'll open it up. You can see it has Velcro here. So you can see Velcro. And here you've got the Velcro so it can stick it all the way along, which is nice. So you don't have the Velcro just at one end. And then what you can do is you can run it through these straps. Just lock them in, pop it around and really, really tighten that down. And you can see how versatile that is. That there, very, very nice to have in your little kit. So that there, a really nice accessory. The next thing that we have in our kit is something that you're gonna use all the time. This is a little riser. It's one and a half inches in diameter, analyzed aluminum, and it's a half an inch high. So it has a 3 8 to one quarter female socket I'll just flip this over so you can see what this is here. So there we have the larger on the bottom and then on the top we have the little bolt. So this here, you're gonna be using that all the time. Really nice to have that included in this kit. And the last item that's in our kit is this really nice felt bag and they call this a drawstring pouch. It's 4.25 inches by 6.25 inches tall. And Platypod suggests to hold multi-kit and other accessories. So that there you can see a really nice bag, super soft. And you get your little things in there. Anything that you want. Things that you're going to be using that day on your photo shoot. This probably fits in here as well. If you want to get that in there. Yeah, it's perfectly made. And there we go. So really, really nice. So we got that, and we have our strap. So here's a fun one. We have our little riser here. Okay, this is made out of aluminum. I can take that and screw that into a little adapter for a GoPro. So first we'll attach that, and then we'll attach it to this mount right here, the screw that is for tripod heads. Get that on there, and then we just have to get this on and screw that in. 
and now we are ready to go so really really like that look at that let me just tilt that look at how solid that is that there is a really good accessory for the platypod so I'm really digging that there we go that's one so here's another scenario I have a holder for a smartphone this here is too small to fit onto the standard tripod head mount so I'll grab my little riser again pop that on and throw this on and there we go get our phone in lock it in and there we have it so there's another really great way to use that little accessory so here's another really popular scenario you're somewhere you were going to use off-camera flash you don't have anywhere stable to set it so you're going to use your platypod again you've got your flash I'm going to grab that riser and I'm going to screw it into the bottom lock it in look at how nice that is that thing is really well built put that there and then I am just going to feed it onto here and now I can place this platypod anywhere lock that in and we are ready to go look at that can you see how nice that is super super solid and I love this little option so if you're using a flash and you have an area that really isn't stable try this method out really nice option to go with so there we go so here we have the three inch aluminum riser I'm gonna take that it screws right onto this standard screw here for tripod heads lock that in included also is a little screw here double-ended screw you grab that put that in on the top there we go and then I'm gonna take this and now this here I can get that right on here and that there is going to provide me with a lot of height and I'll just tip that over and show you how tall that is now you can see so if you want to have a little bit of height be going on between your platypod and an iPhone or whatever whatever accessory that you're putting here now you've got all of this space to work with so I'll just show you that make sure on camera look at that really nice pop the iPhone in again lock it down and now we are ready to go and also remember that all four legs on the platypod are 100 percent adjustable so you can go any way so there we go I'll just tilt that up so you can see that flip it over this way and look at that rock solid this here if you're doing a lot of photography outside in uneven conditions this here is a game changer so that there is really nice so I've removed the little holder for smartphones so we still have our three inch riser here right there and I'll just show this with the GoPro just in case you wanted to see what it looks like lock that in and there we go look at that and then of course you can just angle it down get whatever angle you need and I'll just show that look at that nice and solid super super stable I'll show you another example with our little platypod riser we'll get that on here lock that down and if you have one of these I have a couple of different ones here different models and then you just take that we've got that little indentation right there and then you just slide that on lock it in and now you're ready to go and then you can just angle that you can put whatever accessory that you want right in here let me just turn that to show you what it looks like and you can see super super solid so you can go that way you can add little accessories like that or a bar like this and then add something on there so all kinds of different options available to you again I have the little platypod 3 inch riser right here set it down like this make sure it's nice and tight and then I have a little umbrella adapter which is connected to our flash 
And now I'm just going to slide it right over that little indentation right at the top. Just make sure you're in there and then tighten it down. And as long as you keep the flash right in the front like this, it will not flip over on itself. Let me get myself on camera here. And now you can see, I'll lift it up and look, it wants to come right back on itself. You can see that? So really nice. As long as you keep whatever you have on here facing forward, you have no problems. And you can see that really nice and solid. Let me flip this over so you can see what it looks like. And there we have it. And now I know you're wondering, you're saying, will it work the same if both legs are down as well like the back one? So I'm going to just quickly flip those in and we'll try that test again. So now you can see I've brought all of the legs right down. Let me just get on camera here so you can see that all legs are down and I'm going to put it here. So now it's level on our table, get on frame and there we go. And now we'll just give it a little bit of a pull and you can see that it still wants to flip back on itself. If you want a little bit of that extra stability, just make sure that the front legs are a little bit higher up just to give it a little bit of balance going towards the back if you have your flash really tilted. If you have the flash tilted upward more, it's not a problem. So now I've angled the flash a little higher up just to show you. Let me flip this on its side so you can see just like that. And now you can see how super stable that is. That is not going anywhere. So that there gives you a really good option. If you're out somewhere and you don't have anywhere stable to put a flash, this is a great way to go. So here's another option. I have a tiny LED light on here. You can use something very small like this or something much larger. And a nice option. Super solid as well. So here's another really fun one. I've added on a little mini magic arm. We've got the same tiny LED light. So if you're doing any type of close-up photography, a little bit of food photography like I do, you can now have a little light, maybe backlight some chocolates or whatever you're working on. And you can see here, I've added in the two little legs right here just to offset the gravity so that the thing will not flip over. Since this is so far over, it could actually like tilt a little bit, but by adding in the legs, this leg here brings the center of that gravity a little bit over to the opposite side and now it's totally fine. And you can see even lifting like this, you can see that it, I'll lift it right up and it still wants to come down. So you can see how versatile this is and how you can change the center of gravity just by using the included legs. So that's pretty powerful and you can see how far over this light is. So there's quite a little, you know, quite a bit of weight here. You've got the light and then the arm, which is all metal. So that there, pretty impressive. So that's just another idea. So here we have our really nice non-slip silicone mat. This here is six inches by four inches. And just feeling that, you can feel that's really high quality stuff. So I'll just get it right there. Let's zoom out a little bit. I'm going to grab my Platypod Max and just get that on there. And you can feel that that's just like locking in. This is really nice. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. Look at this. Just locks on there. Nice. You got to give it a little pull to release it. But that there, nice if you want to make sure that you're not going to damage somebody's furniture. So that's a nice little addition to this accessory pack. So in our accessory kit, one more time, we get this nice non-slip silicone mat. We get the three inch spigot and our half inch riser. And then we get this nice little carrying bag and our 36 inch tension strap. So here are all the amazing items that are included in the Platypod accessory kit. So if you have the Platypod Max or Ultra, this here is a really good option to purchase as well. So that's it for this really fast video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you wish. And if you're on Facebook, always make sure to check me out at facebook.com slash bake like a pro. Many of my photos for Platypod little items like this are on my Instagram page, instagram.com slash bake like a pro. So that's it for today and I'll see you next time.